Hey guys, Clinton here from High Performance PC at Cape Cod. Okay, I'm going to do a little video here for you. This video is, I'm going to do a, um, I've got an, an app that I'm using, and I'm, the more and more I use, the more I like it, and it's called Easy Movie Maker. And now all you guys know, remember the um, the Windows uh, Movie Maker, that, Windows Live Movie Maker that Microsoft had, and they just took it away back in January, I think it was January 28th when they took it away. I was really upset because I used it all the time for editing my videos, and I really liked how it worked, and everyone used it. Like, probably, I would say 90% of your YouTube videos, where they edit them, they were using the um, Windows Live Movie Maker, and it's no longer available. Um, I think what Microsoft is doing now is leaving it up to other developers to come up with something, and it's in an app form. So I found what's pretty damn close to it. It's called the uh, um, Easy Movie Maker. It's a Windows 10 application. So it's across all your devices, uh, PC, mobile, HoloLens, and Surface Hub. You can use it for all those devices. And for those of you who don't know what a Surface Hub is, it's not really a, per se, a consumer application. Um, there is a news company, new broadcast, a news broadcasting company, up in Washington that has one, and they use it for showing their weather and stuff and different things. That's a giant 80-inch um, TV screen, kind of what it's like. It's like it's a monitor, and it's called a Surface Hub, and so you can get it for that. Um, all right, let me just show you what I'm using. Now, this video you're watching, this is only just, I'm going to do an actual um, full review of this um, Easy Movie Maker, showing you how you can use it, because a lot of your tools aren't right out in the open, so you might have a hard time finding them. Um, so I'll show you how those can be used. Well, let me just show you um, what the app looks like here. Let me just open it up on this tablet here. And this is my Toshiba tablet. And this is what the Easy Movie Maker looks like. And you've got all your different things you can do. You can, um, you know, you can, um, you have video editing. You've got. Merging videos, new project, um, load project, save project, transcending code, music, uh, add music, and add text. Transcending code is where you can actually take this um, and you want to change the format of the video. Like I go in here. Now they're offering um, video to MB4, um, audio to AAC and extract audio from video. So you got a few options there, and that's what that's all about. I'm going to just go ahead and close that out. Um, okay, so this is the actual app that I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on it and show you how it works. And so I'm going to use this video that I'm doing right now. This is I'm going to, I'm going to upload this to my business page, and you're going to see this video. So watch the other video. I don't know what the length on it's going to be because... Facebook only allows 20-minute videos, so I may have to go on YouTube, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put it on my business page. So you might see in a YouTube video, go ahead and watch that, um, and I'll show you how good this easy, easy movie maker works. And I'll let you know how much it is. I don't remember. I think it was like two ninety nine or three ninety nine, maybe even 4 dollars I don't remember, but it was well worth it. I'm glad that I bought it because I already used it a couple of times, and I really do enjoy it. Now that I'm, you know, seeing all the different tools that are in it, I give a thumbs up and kudos to the developer of this app. It's fantastic. It's flawless. I'm not having any issues with it at all. The only problem I'm having with it is you can share. Once you get the project done, you can either share it to, like OneDrive, got different things listed, or it also lists Facebook and YouTube. The only issue, I'm, only issue that I'm having with it is when I try and share it to Facebook or share it to YouTube, it fails it. It fails the upload. So the developer needs to look into why that's doing that because it shouldn't be. I got it one time to allow me to upload directly to Facebook. So that he needs to fix that. Otherwise, that, perfect. Works great. All right. So I'm going to get this video uploaded to my business page real quick. So watch, watch this video and then... Um, Watch the video. It's either going to be one of these on Facebook itself or it's going to come from YouTube. So if it comes from YouTube, you know, still watch it. It's going to be worth 
um, see how good this video is. So I'm going to use this video as the editing tools. I'm going to add another, I'll do another couple of small videos so I can show you how you can edit it, and I'll add a little bit of music into it, and we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so I'm going to get going here, guys, and get that started for you. All right, see ya.